Okay, before we screw anything else in place, once again, we check everything with the big level. Make sure it all bubbles out right. It looks good. You can't go wrong by using something like levels and squares too much. Start out with a screw here into the helix bench work. Again, I'm using my bit with the countersink. Makes a nice clean hole with no splits. That's done. We'll put a screw in here through the block we put in a bit earlier. Okay, take our little temporary spacer blocks off the top here, we don't need those anymore. And then follow that up with a quick spec out with the level. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to mount the screws in back here fairly close to the cross pieces to help add a little extra strength. I'm using one and five eighths inch uh, sheetrock screws here. I need to go through the three quarter inch lumber, half inch sheetrock into the wood, the, the uh, plywood behind. going to set the level here, but I've got a little 1 8 inch balsa shim, which I'm going to set against under the back side of the level. And that way, when I adjust this temporary bracket or support here, that shim brings the back of the level up a little bit so that the front of the, of the bench work will be raised just a little bit just a little bit high because by the time the weight of the layout and everything gets on here it's going to sag a little bit it's going to got a little bit of give in the wood so uh, pre-loading it up a little bit means that it'll start out just a little off level to the back but it'll wind up you know more or less level to the front certainly close enough check the bubble again the bench suitably leveled and all. It's a matter of simply installing some of these brackets. Just push it flush against the wall here. Clamp it in place. And we're ready to uh, go to town, as they say. We'll probably put about three screws in the, uh, in the, the block on the back side here. Now you may, you may be wondering about how strong a bracket system like this is. Well, uh, let's take a quick look at a little test we ran on this. Okay, this is my load bearing test setup for one of my second deck brackets. The bracket is screwed to this two by th three, four screws, pretty much like we use on the layout. The short sample of framing likewise is also screwed to the two by three. This framing chunk is about 22 inches long, which is approximately the width of the widest part of our second deck in the layout. On the end of the frame here, we've got this empty five gallon bucket hanging. And here we have a bucket of small gravel. And the objective here is we're gonna take the small gravel, dump it into the empty bucket until something breaks. And then we're gonna weigh the bucket and we can pretty much determine what each one of these typical second deck bracket setups will be able to support in pounds. Now I know that the big bucket, full bucket of gravel here, weighs about 55 pounds, so we'll see how much of that goes into here before something gives way. Now, I've never tried this sort of thing before. We'll see what happens.
Okay. There's uh, 55 pounds of gravel on that so far. Try adding a few metal hitch balls here. Something's creaky. Nothing yet. Now we'll add this metal trailer hitch. See if that's a straw that breaks the camel's back. Got a little creaking noise going on, but still hanging on. Swinging loose, still hanging on. I'd say that's a uh, pretty healthy piece of evidence for this type of uh, second deck mounting. All right, now we're going to do the old test here. And depending on the accuracy of the scale, of course, about 73 pounds. Chances are good I'm not going to put that much weight on any one portion of my second deck bench work. I think we're good. Well, like that test showed, I don't think we have an awful lot to worry about as far as strength is concerned here. One of the kind of nice things about this system is if you're working with a stud in the wall, I've got plywood here of course, but if you've got a stud in the wall, you're trying to hit it with the screws, uh, if the stud happens to be a little bit off-centered one way, you can mount the bracket with the cleats on the side toward the stud. Or if it's the other way, you can use a cleat that has a bracket that has the, stud, the cleats on the other side. So you can, you can, you got a lot of flexibility there. If it's, if it's right down the middle, you just put it right down the center then. That way you can make it fit just about any circumstance you need to. Well, we've got, got the bench work pretty well mounted here. The brackets screwed to the wall. Everything looks pretty solid.